With the year-end giving season upon us, I just got to say one thing, and that is nonprofit marketer, nonprofit leader, you do not own your donors, period. A lot of, you know, Cameron, we don't operate like that. We don't think like that. But in some of our actions, this mindset shows up. And we need to talk about it because we need to always be fighting to increase lifetime value. On average, nonprofits retain just 45% of donors that give again in, in their first year after a first donation. That is tiny, like that should be significantly higher. And the organizations that are crushing it have stronger retention. And when we allocate ad spend and marketing budgets and these types of things, it's not all focused on acquisition only. It really does need to be focused on retention. You just gotta report differently, right? Like if we're, we have Facebook ad budget, okay, what percent is going into current or recently lapsed donors for retention, for increasing lifetime value? Let's look at those KPIs. What's our cost to get a donation there? Because you're gonna have really strong revenue there. Your dollars are gonna go farther. And then breaking things out on more of the acquisition campaigns. And that simple tactic can make your marketing team way more effective because you don't own your donors. And we will have organizations say, well, okay, yeah, Facebook ads work, but those donors already gave to us. They're gonna give anyway. Honestly, do you know that? Do you know that they were gonna give anyway? Because I can promise you, the other 50 nonprofits mailing lists that they're on are emailing them during year end and being top of mind and being in their Facebook feed and their Instagram feed and showing up on you know Google remarketing. All of that is important because we don't own our donors we're always fighting for their investment in our mission, and we need to remember that, especially during year end. We'll see you next time.